at the homoplasy so if you look at the, this tree on the left side is a true tree right so if you see that presence of six lug is why these insects are classified so in this group is called insect as on the right side you can see this insect so this one is a monophyletic group because this group is defined based on uh, homology or homo you know homologous characters or uh, divergent evolution and now another uh, monophyletic group here is the snakes and pigeons so they have uh, they are something called sauropsid this homo this is a monophyletic group the name of the group is saurop sauropsid so what is the character shared by snakes and pigeon because it has got openings in the sides of skull behind the eyes so all snakes and pigeon do have the birds do have this common character so this is an evolutionary innovation specific to this clade so such uh, as, uh, you know evolutionary innovations are known as synapomorphic character states and ants and mosquitoes are nothing but insect the synapomorphic character state is say, presence of six legs right or appendages rather now this group is bat and human this is a clade and uh, this clade the synapomorphic character of this clade the clade is called mammal the clade is the presence of mammary gland so this is an evolutionary innovation right so such evolutionary innovations are known as synapomorphic character states so now you can see that these are nothing but polyphyletic groups so in this earlier picture you can see that if i put all this uh, things together as presence of legs so legged animal ant mosquito pigeon bat and human of course that kind of uh, character um, you know classification is uh, analogy or analogous character right so it is not natural while snakes have no legs so snakes is different while all the rest is same so that is that kind of character is uh, you know that kind of classification is artificial actually so that leads to something called polyphyletic groups for example bat pigeon and mosquito group together because these are all winged animals while ants and human has got legs rather appendage for the ants so i put in legs while snakes have no limbs this is a fallacious scheme because i used polyphyletic uh, character states you know the character states are uh, basically non monophyletic so that kind of character state should not be used uh, that will lead rise to polyphyly at the same time if i use uh, you know the synapomorphic character states for grouping the organism i'm going to get monophyletic groups so these groups are uh, you know uh, uh, natural because these are uh, common these all have a one common ancestor and uh, these have been derived from that common ancestor by speciation. So, apomorphy is nothing but specialized or derived or changed character state or evolutionary innovations. So, when this character evolves through multiple lineages and all the descendants of a common ancestor share it, it's referred as sin apomorphy. Sin means or, right? Synonymous. So, all the groups have that character that is known as apomorphic character so that is called sin apomorphic character state so groups defined based on sin apomorphic character is known as monophyletic groups so monophyletic groups are groups defined based upon sin apomorphic character states so here is an example here uh, these are all monophyletic groups so these groups have been defined based on sin apomorphic character states right more insect is an example of a monophyletic group because the synapomorphic character state to define this group is nothing but six appendages right so or the mammal is a synapomorphic character state uh, a mammal is a monophyletic group the synapomorphic character state is a uh, presence of mammary gla glands right so that character is used to define this group plesiomorphy is ancestral or original or primitive character state so that is called the plesiomorphic character state so when this character evolves through multiple lineages that some descent share it it's called sim plesiomorphy like synapomorphy it's called sim plesiomorphy while well, only some descendants share it not all descendants right so this is called sim plesiomorphy so groups defined based on sim plesiomorphic character is known as paraphyletic groups the main difference between monophyly and paraphyly is that paraphyletic groups are the groups that define based upon sim plesiomorphic character states while uh, monophyly are the groups defined based upon synapomorphic character states so as you can see the paraphyly these all these are paraphyly because 
uh, some groups are exempted right so this is nothing but reptilia or reptiles so ancestor had the character some of the descendants have that character but exceptions are there for example mammals as well as apes are uh, do not have uh, the characters that are defining features of the reptiles for example poikilothermy so the groups under the highlighted group do not form one clade right so this character this kind of thing is known as paraphyly or paraphyletic group so you cannot cut it with just one cut you need at least two cut to uh, cut out the group so this particular group the reptile to cut this group you need three cuts the first cut will be here second cut will be on mammal the third cut will be on apes so you need three cuts to separate this group so that is why it is a paraphyletic group and this group is defined based upon you know this uh, uh, plesiomorphic character state or syn plesiomorphic character state so here you can see the monophyly paraphyly and polyphyly all together you can see here this group is called monophyletic group or uh, this is basically similiformis. So the group is called similiformis. Some of the new world monkeys, old world monkeys, apes and humans all together. To separate this group of monophyletic group, all you need is just one cut here. So if you can uh, cut out with just one cut, those kind of groups are nothing but monophyletic group. So this group, you cannot cut with just one cut. You need two cuts, right? Here cut, one cut here, one cut here. So lorsiers and tarsiers. So lorises and tarsiers are nothing but very small monkey. So the small monkeys actually evolved uh, separately, right? So this is not really a common ancestor. Don't have these two monkeys uh, because the group uh, defining characters of this, uh, this group is not being shared by their common ancestor right here, right? So that is why this is called polyphyly, right? And now at the same time, this one is called paraphyly. So the ancestor and some of the descendants while there are exceptions so that is called the paraphyletic group so paraphyly polyphyly and monophyly so these three terms are very important and very crucial you should know the difference between these three terms especially monophyly and non-monophyly some textbook call it as non-monophyly so that difference has to be very clear to you. Uh, once again, I can tell you monophyly is that the groups that defined based upon syn apomorphic character states or evolutionary innovations. Mm -hmm.